Most runners' nutritional strategy is dictated by how many miles they run each week or how hard they run. This is like playing with fire. If you follow my channel often, you'll often hear me say, control your body weight with your nutrition and control your performance with your training. If our nutrition and our training get out of balance with each other, this can have disastrous results on how we feel and our performance. Right there's my ridge. Trails across the street. They open up Monday from wildlife closure, May 1st. Can't wait, as usual. It's been t-shirts and shorts weather for two days in a row, so it just feels so nice. It just doesn't seem that long ago that I was sitting in this spot and it was about minus 20 degrees. But we've got a little otter playing around over here. I don't know if we can see it again, but... No, he went under. So one way to tell that you're not eating enough is that your heart rate is chronically low. And keep in mind, when you're using heart rate, you've got to wear your chest strap or it's not going to be accurate. And it, this, this won't apply. But if you're wearing your chest strap and you use heart rate in your training and you're monitoring your heart rate often, having lower than normal heart rate during workouts, during runs, is a sure tell sign that you're calorie deficient. Is that you're going to feel low energy. You're not going to feel great. Your heart rate's gonna be low, the effort's gonna feel high relative to the heart rate, and you're gonna be hesitant to put in harder efforts. And therefore, you're just, you're just not gonna feel great in general. So if your heart rate's low on any given day, ask yourself what you ate that day. See if you missed a meal. See if something was just not right relative to what you're used to doing, and catch up with that. Or if this is a chronic thing, you maybe look to your daily caloric intake and maybe look to increase that um, getting closer to 2,500 to 3,000 calories of nutritional intake throughout your day. Another way to detect if you're not eating enough daily throughout the week is if you're not sleeping very well. And not sleeping well is uh, an indicator of overtraining. So if you're not overtraining, but you are deficient from a calorie standpoint, the training that you are doing will treat the body as if it's overtraining because it's not getting the energy it needs. So every time you're going out and running, it's actually harder than it should be because you're calorie deficient. And therefore, even though it might not be above and beyond what you're used to doing, your body sees it as overtraining and therefore you might be having a hard time sleeping where your body's kind of revved and just overworked and therefore is not getting restful sleep. So now let's look if you're eating too much. And I see this all the time and throughout my 25 years of coaching Ironman triathletes and ultra runners, I see it so often that they, a lot of endurance athletes, ultra endurance athletes actually gain weight when they're training heavily. And why is this happening? It's because they think because they're running and training a lot that they can eat anything they want. And therefore, they actually put on weight and they're eating too much calorie dense foods because, hey, they're going out for an all day run or an all day bike and then run and get home. They're famished, they're starving, and what do they do? They grab the quickest, first thing there is to eat, and that's usually something that's not the best choice and very caloric dense, 
And they think because they're an ultra runner or a triathlete that they can eat anything they want, eat as much as they want, drink as much as they want. And the training compensates for that. And that's not the case because what happens, and there's a lot of great fun research coming out on this, is that our metabolic rate, our metabolic ability begins to adjust itself. If you're consistent with your training, your body adjusts how many calories it's burning throughout the day and eventually kind of gets back to a homeostasis type of, of caloric energy expenditure of 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day. So again, if you're used to doing what you're doing, even though it's a lot, your body's going to adjust and hover around the same amount of calories burned per day. This is where athletes get themselves into trouble. They think they're, they're training a lot, therefore they can eat a lot, and they can eat whatever they want. And that's where they get into trouble, is that either they put on weight or maybe their performance can really benefit from losing a few pounds, but they're not able to because they're eating too much. <laughs> So just let this be something that kind of gets your brain thinking and, and most importantly, giving you some awareness of what you're doing, how you're feeling, what certain parts of your awareness and your training is telling you. And then play around with monitoring your calorie intake per day, a normal day for a couple of days and see where you land between that 2,500 and 3,000 calorie kind of um, balance. And just see where you're at. Are you below it? Are you way above it? And see how that correlates with what we're talking about today and what you're experiencing with, with your own training. So, all right, I'm gonna enjoy the sun and my leg soak. What a day, as always, over and out from Flat Creek, Jackson Hole, and Born to Run World. See you guys next time.